Hopefully everybody can hear me okay this afternoon and uh, thank you as well for uh, sticking around with us here uh, through the afternoon. Excellent. Remember, just another hour or so with great content from Cinercom, then OutSystems, much more around application security and development, and then we'll finish up with AWS and a $100 gift card. Awesome. All right. So uh, again, thank you for joining me this afternoon. Uh, my name is Brian Judd. I work for Cinercom and we're located in Brookfield, Wisconsin. Uh, I've been with the company now for about 20 years or almost uh, 20 years. I've been uh, focusing on security uh, pretty much that entire time. Got some opportunities early on to do IT audits and assessments and throughout the years, uh, quite a bit of penetration testing as well, but probably more, uh, excuse me, was there a, a question there? I thought I heard, sorry. Uh, uh, more recently been uh, managing our information assurance consultants. Uh, that's a team of penetration testers, auditors, and assessors. Uh, I also hold a master's in science and information assurance. Uh, father of uh, two teenage teenaged girls, uh, got a uh, girl going into college this year and another uh, going to be a senior in high school. Uh, so when I'm not uh, running around doing sports and stuff like that, I'm also uh, a bit of an avid brewer. I, I like making beer. Uh, Cinercom is a company. We've been around for quite a while as well. Uh, the company uh, was founded in 1989, incorporated in 91. Uh, we've obviously survived a lot of the, uh, you know, the different transitions and shifts in our industry, uh, the dot-com and everything else, you know, to follow. Uh, but we focus mostly on security and networking. Uh, we've been a value-added reseller, so selling, uh, you know, equipment and software since the very beginning. But more uh, on my side of the house, focused on audit and assessment and pen test now since about... Uh, 2004. So uh, our agenda for today, I want to first of all talk a little bit about what continuous attack surface management is, uh, what continuous penetration testing is, tell you a few of our uh, success stories because I think they'll resonate well and probably align with a lot of your companies and organizations. Uh, and then if we got some time here at the end, uh, offer up a uh, free trial and questions as well. So jumping right in. I think before uh, we actually go and uh, get into depth about what I mean when I talk about continuous attack surface management or continuous penetration testing, it's probably going to be helpful to do a little bit of defining you know, what these terms actually mean and, and level set just a little bit. Uh, first of all, you know, what do we mean when we talk about an attack surface? Uh, to me, an attack surface is literally anything that uh, could create some type of risk to your organization. Uh, we're talking about some type of an asset and, you know, in, the, in this context, usually that's like a server or an application, a website, might even be like a router or a firewall or something like that. But uh, what's really important when we talk about attack surfaces is to make sure that we're inclusive of everything that could create some risk to an organization. Uh, that certainly includes everything on your internal networks, on your external networks, you know, the cloud being part of that external. And I always point out too that uh, people, your employees, staff, contractors, all of them are also part of that attack surface. You know, if an employee can be tricked or social engineered or fished or something like that, uh, they could be an entry point into your organization or into your data. You know, they could lead to some type of a breach or compromise as well. So uh, Cinercom, we've been around for a very long time, as I've mentioned before. Uh, penetration testing is one of our key offerings, something that we're very much a market leader in. And uh, what we've seen over the years is that there's been some need for us to change the way that we're doing penetration testing, uh, switching from doing it just what we call point in time, where we're doing it once a year or maybe every year and a half or two years or, or longer to you know, trying to shorten that gap, 
uh, make sure that vulnerabilities aren't going undetected for a long period of time and also trying to just add more and more automation to the game, you know, bringing bigger, better tools every day to be able to be more efficient and better at what we do. So how can I best talk through the, uh, you know, the attack surface management and uh, success stories that we've had over the years? Uh, sorry, my slides here aren't uh, transitioning at quite the right speed. Uh, I got four different success stories that I'd like to be able to walk through with you because I think each of these will probably resonate uh, with, uh, or one of these will probably resonate with your organization or somebody that you probably know. Uh, the first one I'm going to be talking about is an international company. Uh, this company uh, had quite a few acquisitions over the years. They bought out uh, different uh, organizations, uh, both here in the United States and internationally. And part of that uh, acquisition resulted in them, you know, picking up uh, data centers and cloud hosting providers and assets all over the world that uh, were in many, many different places through different providers, through different uh, owners within the organization. And quite often what we found was that a lot of that ownership uh, wasn't very well defined within the organization and that we found numerous, and, and I'm talking dozens, if not even hundreds, of what we call unmanaged assets. So these were assets that when we asked the organization to let us know what they had, they weren't aware of. These were things that we found and discovered on our own and ultimately created a lot of risk. You know, systems that haven't been maintained or patched or hardened uh, start to become full of vulnerabilities. So the successes that we found with this organization by having the discovery done through an automated process where we're constantly finding new servers and assets out on the internet, uh, we were able to help them actually create an asset inventory, uh, identify what all their critical vulnerabilities are and start to reduce and, and mitigate those vulnerabilities uh, while also, you know, building into a multi-year strategy to be able to continue to identify new flaws and vulnerabilities, report those to the client, and uh, allow them to use, you know, a risk-based approach to making sure that the most critical things are always handled first. But, uh, you know, over time, we can keep digging deeper and deeper and, and uncovering, you know, less severe vulnerabilities, but focusing always first on what's most important. Another example organization, uh, also a pretty large organization. Uh, this one has a very high degree of change in their environment. So uh, new applications being stood up on almost a weekly basis. A uh, lot of different changes where uh, you know, IP addresses and assets that previously didn't have services maybe start to have new services or services go away. Uh, long story short is there's so much change in this environment that if you were only doing scanning or pen testing, you know, on a weekly basis or an annual basis, you have a very high likelihood of missing some of these systems that are either popping up for a, a short period of time, or maybe their vulnerabilities are changing, you know, over time. Uh, this organization benefited uh, greatly as well because they had a lot of old and legacy type applications that were ripe for uh, what we would consider to be more of like custom vulnerabilities. Things that your vulnerability scanners don't tell you about because they're uh, you know, in-house developed code. These are not off the shelf software and things that the uh, vulnerabilities are well known. Uh, this organization's legacy apps uh, with just a little bit of manual testing and prodding uh, could be uh, uncovered. Uh, we uncovered quite a few different vulnerabilities there. So much like that last organization in the first year, uh, remediating, remediating all of those critical vulnerabilities was a, a huge part of their success. Uh, these were vulnerabilities that in many cases were previously unknown, but were present you know, right up until the time that somebody showed them. So uh, beauty of doing this type of testing and being proactive is that, you know, we're staying one step ahead of the attackers, uh, you know, trying to make sure that uh, you get a chance to correct your vulnerabilities before they're exploited. 
Uh, and again, like the other organization as well, uh, by being uh, a part of our subscriber for multiple years, we're continuing to uncover new vulnerabilities almost every month and every quarter. Uh, many of these are much, much harder to find. Things that you know a lot of your attackers out on the internet would never find, but because we've been continuing and digging deeper and deeper over time, we're able to continue to uncover new vulnerabilities over time. And I think that's one of the big benefits that we see by working with a single source or a single firm uh, to do your pen test, that uh, if they can really pick up where they left off, like we're able to do here, uh, we're able to continue to go deeper and deeper each quarter, each year as we continue on. Another organization much smaller here, uh, but I like uh, to point these out as well because uh, Cinercom and our pen testing and our CHASM solution isn't all about uh, the large enterprises. Uh, we also fit uh, very well in smaller organizations. Uh, this organization right here uh, only had about 25 live assets and they came to us uh, knowing that they were in very, very good shape. They had a strong, mature security program. Uh, they uh, pretty much limited their attack surface in every way that they possibly could. And from us, they're looking for an extra set of eyes. They want to make sure that they can tell their stakeholders that they're doing everything that they can to be good in their security. And they've got multiple sources, you know, taking a look and testing and validating for them. Uh, an interesting story with them, uh, they actually have such a static environment that they wanted to be emailed or notified at any little change in the environment. Uh, so we didn't have a feature to do that for even something as small as like a new service coming online. So we actually created that uh, in very short order uh, just for them. And a couple months into their contract, we actually caught a firewall come online. Uh, the firewall had a SSH service and a default password on it. And we were able to detect that within minutes and alert them on a Friday evening where that probably would have sat all weekend long, if not into the next weeks and months, uh, they were able to fix it still that night. So that one was a much smaller organization, but somebody with a pretty unique case study as well. And then finally, uh, we have a, a large distributor as well that I like to talk about because they are a very large organization, but have a fairly small internet attack surface. They only have about 35 live assets but much like that other organization have a very, very strong uh, perimeter security program. They're again, looking for that extra set of eyes. And with this organization, we're also doing a lot of penetration testing and they have uh, some custom applications as well. So one of the big benefits we've been able to provide to them is even though they're not doing these really deep dive application assessments with us, uh, we've been able to uncover custom app vulnerabilities continually over time and keep providing more and more value to them. So even though they're a very strong uh, security perimeter, we're still able to uncover custom vulnerabilities created in their applications. So I know that was very brief, very quick, uh, 15 minutes from me here this afternoon. Uh, if there are any questions at all about attack surface management, I know that's a very new buzzword out here today. Uh, penetration testing, whether it be the continuous uh, form or the more traditional point in time, uh, definitely happy to answer those questions. You can feel free to reach out to me as well. And if you're interested in seeing what CHASM is all about, uh, the free trial link there is on, uh, on the screen as well.